Good evening. My name is Kofi Apensing. On behalf of the Africa America Institute's Board of Trustees and staff, I want to welcome you to AAI's 38th Annual Awards Gala. The Awards Gala is an occasion to highlight and celebrate Africa and its worldwide diaspora. Just look around the room. It's a beautiful gathering. We're delighted to be together in person again at last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the course of tonight's celebration, we'll connect people who might not otherwise cross paths and highlight connections between ideas that might otherwise be obscured. Connections between the arts, commerce, technology, and the basic necessities of life, all the while centering Africa. Part of the Gala tradition is to celebrate one African country at a time. And this year, the Republic of Botswana is a standout. As you'll hear more about later, the reasons are many. High levels of educational attainment, especially among Botswana women. <laughs> Welcoming migration policies that support refugees and skilled workers alike. and constantly improving health indicators. Despite the setbacks due to more than one pandemic, we are honored that President Mokweti Eric Kiabetwi Masisi has joined us to celebrate the people of Botswana and their consistently progressive vision. Perhaps like me, many of you found escape during the COVID shutdowns by streaming movies and documentaries. The cultural influence of film and filmmakers is profound, not to mention their enormous economic impact. Around the world, people's attitudes and behavior both shape and are shaped by the images and representations they are exposed to or deprived of in cinema. Tonight we celebrate Mahen Bonetti. <laughs> Founder and director of the African Film Festival, Inc. for her vision to build a bridge between African cinema and the world. We have seen how challenging it has been for many business leaders to include the well-being of society with the pursuit of growth. We are so proud that an African has set an example that inspires the best in us. So we celebrate Solomon Asefa. Solomon is a vice president of IBM Research, and we celebrate him for his commitment to promoting disruptive technologies that hold the promise of transforming industries, benefiting society, and advancing rather than sacrificing sustainability. And of course, for life itself, we all depend on food. Our bodies, mental faculties, emotional well-being, and overall health depend upon good nutrition and nourishment. And yet, as the Rockefeller Foundation observes, the way we eat today is failing both people and the planet. It isn't nutritious, it isn't sustainable, and it isn't equitable. With deep gratitude 
and a tremendous pride, we celebrate Betty Wambui Kibara. Betty is the director of the Rockefeller Foundation's Food Initiative for her work to prioritize public health, food safety, and build resilience to climate change. So to borrow a phrase from the late Lucille Clifton, the inimitable black American poet from Buffalo, New York, won't you celebrate with me? In accordance with our tradition, before we begin tonight's celebrations, we take a moment to look back at some of those we have lost over the last year. 